Alright, well, unfortunately he's lightning, so he ain't got much to do against him. He has the same stats as, uh, um, wow, I can't think of names today. Friggin' Hashel, so, uh, he's gonna be really fast and not have a ton of magic defense. So... I do have a spirit potion. Uh, I'd rather actually use this on someone else than that. Because he already has his final level. Let's let this attack. Kamehameha! final hit's awesome. Most of the final hits just have a little explosion. This is a freaking Dragon Ball Z shot. That was amazing. What even happened? He like smacked the ground a bunch and then came out of the ground. That hurt. You get to attack twice? This could be an issue. Not gonna lie, this could be a big issue. He's giving us the business right now. Yeah, speed up. to get my dragoon like now. Yes. I kind of want to go special world with Rose so she can like spam healing for us. She's just going to go ahead and do this. You special with Albert? Why? I don't have much with Albert except Rose Storm. Albert's my u my most useless for doing. Granted, Rose Storm is amazing, but other than that, his magic doesn't do a lot because he doesn't have much magic stat, and his attack doesn't do a lot. Does pretty good damage, but like without hitting the final, it's not even his element. It truly is crazy how precise the final hits with Dragoons are. Like, I don't think I've ever played a game where there was some kind of mini game and I never hit it throughout the entire game. Except maybe Lulu's Overdrive from 10. I always hated that. I got really good at it because I had to for the NSG and SNO challenge. But when I played the game casually, I always got like three. And I was like, that's fine. <laughs> I can't do any better. Yes. Yes. What's up, Hyrule Chicken? You can always check what game I'm playing, either on the title screen or by typing estimation mark game in the chat. Uh, 
we're getting there. 30 SP at a time. I am starting to think that going special with Albert would be smart because he's actually taking a good amount of physical damage. But I think I might do it with Rose just so I can get more heal. Because he's going to start ripping me apart with all his speed, yeah. I could even give her a power up too. Then she's really going to heal us a lot. thing I could do is throw the power up on Rose right before I go special and use the psych bomb. I think I might do that here actually. That'll give me an idea of how much magic damage he takes. Oh god. May the Lord have mercy on my soul. I'm about to get absolutely bamboozled. You can tell it's the dragon right away because it puts you in a special world, like as he's casting it. That thing is terrifying. That looks more like a scorpion. At least it's single hit. Oh my god, that's like a nuclear explosion. I think he was defending and still took 12k. 1200, what the fuck? Okay, not 12k, 1200. But still. Jeez. Yeah, because of the low magic defense. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's throw... Power up. That's true, most of the dragons don't look like dragons. I don't know, please don't kill. That would be terrible. Okay. Uh... Oh, perfect. I think that's a record. Oh yeah. That's the damage. Don't hit Rose, please. That would be great. That's it. Warfix. Under attack! I can't get over how cool the animations are in this game. Like, every single animation is totally unique and cool. Why do you get to attack twice? Stop! Just don't kill anybody, please. I think, I think 
Albert's defending. Don't die. I'm just about to heal everybody. Don't die. Alright. One turn from healing our whole squad. What's up, Sergio? Unless this just kills him, because he's he should be almost dead, actually. Rose, you better get your turn. Yeah! I know he's almost dead, but I still want to see how much damage this does. Because this should heal a ton. Like, I probably could have just gone special with Albert and attacked and killed him, but... I gotta see how much healing this does for us, because she has power up right now. This is gonna do the damage. damage with Astro Drain before. Yeah, every turn I heal for 350 and he can't do any more than like 300 damage. just spam the crap out of it. <laughs> this is why I love Rose. I know she's not the best, but I just love how I can have super defense and super heal, like, all the time. And then I can use Rose Storm and take even less damage. Maybe I'm just a defensive kind of player. I don't know. I've realized that in some games I'm really defensive, and in other games I'm really offensive. It just depends on what I like for that game. For this game, I really like being defensive. It's just fun for me. It's cool to see Dart do like 4,000 damage with an attack, but it's even cooler to have like this setup that's just, you know, indestructible. I was gonna use Rose Storm, but he's all good. This should kill him, probably. Or it'll miss! <laughs> how do you even miss with that? Like, how does that even happen? <laughs> Thanks, then. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to do. I'm really having a lot of fun doing all of Data Org at a low level. No. Oh my god, he like smacked his head on the ground. What the heck? Yes! Finally! His ultimate. I was surprised when you joined the campaign by being persuaded by Shirley. But after all, it was to kill? Yes, that's right, but it wasn't the only reason. I thought the nobleness of Shirley, which I could never have, would take me somewhere I could otherwise never know. Some bright place I couldn't know, so even after death I have been looking for that place. He gone. The bright place. I hope you can reach there. Let's keep going. Well, there's nothing left. We killed them all. We did the thing. Set my edition, that's right. 
Also, I wanted to see all this stuff we got, but I, I was thinking it's all just the same element stuff, right? Yeah. Oh man, look at that. 100 SP and 250 damage to start. Pretty sweet. It's really interesting to me, like, I want to see how much, how little damage I can make stuff do. Because think about it, if you had, like, Rose Storm on top of Dragoon, on top of blocking, and you had, like, the thing equipped for half element, you'd be at, like, 95% reduction or some ridiculous number. Because all the all the reductions in this game are 50%, like all of them. Defending is 50%, Dragoon is 50%, uh, the rings are 50%. Storm! <laughs> Die. Kinda hoping this doesn't kill her so we can see. Darts but kill. So do I get anything for like doing all that or is it just to do it? Surely you're gonna give me some? Surely. I just got some rings and a bunch of experience. True, that experience is a big deal because going up levels in this game is far and few between. Am I going the right way? Yeah. See you, Zen. Thanks so much for hanging out, man. Thanks for the gifted sub. Thanks for uh, chilling with us for a bit. Alright, now we get to see Blazing Dynamo. Rip. What? What did he steal? Did he doesn't even tell me what he stole? Are you kidding me? Got it back, whatever it was. Die. Terminator. Always the Terminator. I think the Terminator literally like always, always counters. Dark? You're so slow. I mean, I know why you're slow, but... Blazing Dynamo! Blazing Dynamo! That one's not that bad. It's easier to hit the Moonstrike, I, I think. I like the big pause at the end where he like stands there for a second and then does the final hit. I was expecting to have to hit X again, but it's just like a big pause to make it more epic. Alright, I hit 
hit circle, but... Do what you want, game. I can't make you... Do anything. I love how all the names of the additions are just kind of made up. Because there's not really... They have nothing to do with what he's actually doing. You know, like Legend of Lagaya, a lot of the combos were based on, like, what it actually looks like. You know, Final Fantasy VII, the limit breaks are kind of, you know... Omni Slash is a bunch of slashes. Dynamite, he throws a stick of dynamite. <laughs> uh, you know, they all they all kind of make sense in some way, shape, or form. These ones are just like totally made up. It's like, what do we call this? Well, he smacks him around with his sword. Blazing Dynamo! <laughs> I'm gonna put this four back in. See, this one shows. I don't know why the Disc 3 one, you like, you couldn't see it on the capture card. By the way, I never showed you what Disc 4 looks like. It's Albert. It's Albert on there. Wait, is that Lavitz? Wait, I think that is Lavitz. Now that you mention it. I just kind of figured it was Albert, but I didn't really look at his face. I just looked at the color of the Dragoon. Why would they have Labbits on the last disc? Memories! <laughs> just to make you feel bad. You're like, alright, time to pop in the fourth disc. <laughs> I wasn't ready for these feelings. Please wait. Wait for what? Get on with it. Come on. Hello. Disc's in there. I can hear it spinning. Don't you freeze on me. Don't you do it. I can hear it spinning in there. I can hear it spinning in there. I know it's spinning. Don't freeze on the disc transit. That means I gotta reset the game, put in the other disc, get to this point again, and then put in the fourth disc again. You're gonna make me do all that? <laughs> the game's crying over the Lavitz disc. What, what happens if I take it out and put it back in? This normally doesn't work with the PS2. Let's see what happens. If you weren't kidding about those load times. Man, these load times sure are long. God dang it, game. Put the disk speed on fast. I had it on slow and we didn't have an issue till now. I guess I'll just leave it. It's okay game, we're sad too. I mean, we've been pretty fortunate. This game has frozen like 10 times, but literally every time it's frozen, it was right after a save. So. I can't be too upset.
but it does get kind of annoying after a while. Time to play Disc Rotation, the game. Disc Square Dance. I think I did my additions before I saved. I think. Why does it look like Dart's head is like lower than it should be? Looks like he's going like this. Now it looks like there's a cut in his head or something. This game makes Final Fantasy VIII look not muddy. That's saying something. This game is expensive. A lot of old PS1 RPGs, people get away with murder. But if you if you live in the US, you can get it on PS3, and the PS3 port's actually okay, other than good luck with the Dragoon editions. Uh, and that's pretty cheap. It's under 15 bucks, I think. It's like 10 bucks from. But other than that, yeah, good luck if you're trying to play this game. It's not an easy one to get. No matter what, you're gonna get some poor latency, like just because of the way the ports are made. I think. I don't actually know off the top of my head if HDMI has worse latency than component, but I don't think it does. I think HDMI is just just as much latency as component. It'll it'll actually uh, matter more what screen you're using, what like TV you're using and what the refresh rate on the TV is, or the monitor. But yeah, either way, you're not, you know, you're gonna have some latency and it's gonna be really hard to get like the frame perfect crap you need for those. Yo, Hellside, with the resub, eight months, my man, eight months you've been here, supporting the stream, thank you so much, my man, can I get some phone figures in the chat, for that beautiful eight month resub, thank you, dude, appreciate it so much. Uh, okay, so, we saved. See what happens when I try to throw this corn again. Here goes something. 
It knows it's there because it says please wait. That's the good stuff. This is a, I can't like describe to you guys how annoying this is. Every time we have a like a disc change my capture card gets slightly behind and I have to reset it and then every like two hours I have to reset it because for some reason the PS2 slowly lags. So I'm just like constantly resetting my <laughs> capture card. The law prohibits humans from going to the signet sphere, thus this flying disc cannot be used. So is the signet sphere ahead? Wingley Code Article 703, the law prohibits non-winglies from going to the signet sphere. I'm a wingley. No magic power as a wingly is recognized. Hey, what do you mean? Wait. It means that my father cannot pass here either. Yeah, that's right. It means we still have time left. Well, if he can't pass, then we're good to go. Go home. Make some Kraft Mac and Cheese dinner. Good. I was hoping there was a save point close. So we could save on disc 4 and not have to switch back to disc 3. Warning, under martial law, visitation allowed only to legislation center, law factory, and law launcher. Law launcher? Great court, residential area, power room are off limits. Can we go to the place where the Signet Sphere is? Impossible. The law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Sphere. Impossible. Okay, he already said that. It seems it is a waste to talk to them. Let's focus on how we can proceed. Okay. It seems we can decide the destination with this operation counter. Determine the destination. Go to the factory. Decision confirmed. That platform seems to be, uh, I think it needs some work. It's going around in circles. There we go. Wingley amended code article 339. Usage by non-Wingleys of shops is not prohibited. What you got for weapons? Great axe. Nullifies damage due to fire based attacks? Wait, nullifies? Like, completely? Yo, Ataru! Thank you so much for the 1000 bits! Gotta get some phone figures in that chat. That was 1000 bits. Thank you so much. This is where I live. The Lost City. Um. I actually like one of these because petrification is the only thing that like is a real problem if it happens. So I might just buy all this armor because it's amazing. See what armor Albert had that had better magic defense. The armor of Yor 
has significantly better magic defense. And avoids poison stun and arm blocking. I feel like that's pretty useful. Because he has such bad magic defense. So I think I'm going to keep him with that. But everyone else can keep this DG armor because it's pretty good. Oh great, more teleport puzzles. I'm telling you man, this game loves teleport puzzles. It's their favorite. Are these enemies? What the? Is this teleporting me to the start? Oh god. We're in the dungeon. Are we arrested? Darn, what timing. <laughs> Who says darn when they get arrested? Am I arrested? Darn. Everybody's feeling the same way. We have to focus on how to get out of here. It seems that they arrest people and send them here. But it seems there is no device to get out of here. Well, I mean it is jail. Maybe, no exit? I don't want to think about a room without an exit. Wait a minute, didn't we forget somebody? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Sorry, Congo is late. Kongol! Why? Why was only Kongol outside? Kongol don't know. It's simple. He was too heavy to teleport. Now we can get out. <laughs> Kongol just lost. Sorry, I'm late! <laughs> that was amazing. That was probably the best thing I've seen in a while. Uh, why are these not sorted? Congo is majestic. What's up, I Scott? Childhood is passing before my eyes. No, not my childhood. Come back. Oh god. Are those harpies? Yep. I've guessed the name of like so many enemies in this game. <laughs> I guess I've just played enough RPGs to know where the developer's brain is going. It's cool that we have all the ultimates now. And I can just level up the ultimates in these random battles. Or fail miserably. That too. Game. It's a late counter. I'm doing good, Scott. We're currently working on buying a house, so we're really, like, nervous about that. Just hoping that everything goes well and everything, but it, it's not that big of a deal. Oh yes, finally! Finally I got Rose's final. Let's go. I'm excited. Um, found people to which Wingley code article 659 applies. Okay. Um, it's not as nerve-wracking as like it was when we bought this house, because when we bought this house we had to buy we're, we're in a better situation now where we can just wait, and if it happens, great. If not, no big deal. Oh my god, it's all the way back here. Jeez. So, uh, 
you know, but it's still, it's still hectic and, you know, just hoping it all goes well. What's up, Gluthix? Did I get every edition to 99? What do you mean? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Can they get to level 99? I guess they get like 99 successes. I always feel like I'm gonna fall off, <laughs> fall off the platform. Ah, so it's just kind of a hundred percent thing. I want this chest. Oh my god, that thing like comes at you, man. You know, this would be fine. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh my god. It's getting stuck on the walls. How do I get how do I get this chest? How do I get this chest? Very carefully. It seems like I could just barely make it if I went this way. Not really, though. What? How does he see me? No idea how this works, man. I'm like nudging forward and he just sees me instantly. Use the teleporter. Hey. Chest. What even is this? <laughs> oh, I think I see what you're saying. He runs as fast as I do. So as long as he goes past that door... So I need him to go like past this teleporter and then I can run to the chest. I wonder if he can get me at the chest though. I made it. I thought he had me for sure, dude. What did I get all these moon serenades? I really need this. I have a lot of moon serenades. Alright, one down. 87 more to go. Why is this one purple? Is purple different? Oh, guy, he's just standing here. What is he doing? Get away from me. In it. <laughs> uh... 
gonna be a lot of discarding items. I can already tell. Uh, oh man, Flash Hall seems really good. Night Raid. I guess you're gonna miss the Night Raid. Oi. Now I got stuck on the wall. Rainbow dress. That's for dart, right? 100%. That's a dart armor. Avoids poison stun arm blocking. Gives me a lot more magic defense. But honestly, I feel like dark negating all dark attacks is pretty dope, so I'm going to keep the dark DG armor. It's clearly for Kongle. Oh god. Uh, can I get him to go past this chest maybe? Oh my god. I can't believe that worked. We made it. Submit law production license issued by Legislation Center. A law production license? What is it talking about? If you don't have one step back, you are hindering fulfillment of the quota. Move out. said I had to go to the Law Production Center? Or the Legislation Center. So I guess I was supposed to go there first. And now I'm screwed. So I'm gonna have to do that again? Me. I can see why people don't like this place. Oh god. I guess I might as well go to prison, huh? I guess I could walk up the way I mean, those two are pretty fast. I don't know how I'm going to get past this guy, though. No, oh, I got stuck on the wall. This is your favorite part. Whenever we get to a part that's like my entire chat, is like, I hate this part. There's always one person that's like, this is my favorite part. <laughs> it literally always happens. Same thing with games, too. Whenever I play a game where everyone's like, I hate this game, there's one person that, like, appears out of nowhere and is like, so this is my favorite game ever made. I play it every day of my life. It's just the way it goes. Opinions are weird. But they are all worthy opinions. No one's opinion is wrong. Different strokes for different folks. So, I guess I go to the Legislation Center. Now it's gonna be like you have to go to the Law Launcher first. I'm gonna get super bamboozled. I only got about 10 minutes left, so hopefully I can get through the legis Legislation Center before we gotta go. And move 
move over to the symphony. For an RPG game, thank you for the 100 bits, Burger Acid. Appreciate it, my man. For an RPG game, this game sure has a lot of stealth stuff. Stealth stuff and teleport puzzles are their two favorite things in this game. Every dungeon has either a teleport puzzle or a stealth section. What the heck are those? Are those wizards? No, professors, of course. Die, professor. Oh! Threw books at me. What else will the professor do, I guess? Yes. How's it going? Uh, how do I say your name? Babusa? Or C. Babusa? Or am I supposed to enunciate the C? Kabo Kababuska. Kababusa. I think it's just C. Babusa, I would guess. I miss this game, I need to play it again. I've been playing this game since I was like five, around the same time I was introduced to Final Fantasy was seven. Yeah, that was kind of the same way. Also, Rose died and I totally missed it. Babu Saw. Gotcha. Oh, she's not dead, she's... Uh... Asleep. Or something. <laughs> she's taking a nap. Oh, she's just stunned. I didn't know that you laid down when you were stunned. I thought you just stood there. I still gotta see Rose's final magic. I'm excited to see what it is. I've been wanting it so bad since the beginning, since like a long time ago, because I got all this MP for her, and I've been giving her all the magic stat stuff like all game. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save and then check out Rose's final magic, and then we'll be done for today with Legend of the Goon. And we'll switch over to our next Let's Play, Tales of Symphonia, which I'm really excited to start. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that because there's no random battles there. There's random battles in the dungeon, but not. What's my take on LOD? I'm really, really enjoying it. The first disc is slow, and I think that's why I kind of quit it as a kid. But as soon as you get off the first disc, this game gets really fun, really rewarding. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's do like the whole shebang. Let's give her the power up. This guy isn't Dark Element, is he? He's book element. He has knowledge. And here we go. Super special powered up Rose Dragon. I'd laugh if we summoned the Dark Dragon and it was just like evil and it just turned around and killed us. It's literally called Dark Dragon, I didn't realize. It's only strength 100, but she has good magic, so...
What the heck? Looks like an airship. That's the damage. I gotta imagine an enemy called Professor had pretty good magic defense, so the fact that it did almost 2,000 damage is pretty dope. Yo, drop on. How's it going, man? You're here just in time for us to start Tales of Symphonia. But first, we gotta end the Legend of Dragoon Let's Play. So that'll be it for Legend of Dragoon Let's Play today. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thanks for watching. It was. It was uh, good. We, we basically just did the side quest. The side quest took most of the day today. Um, so that was a pretty that was a pretty hefty side quest. Four bosses took us most of the day. Um, next time we'll be continuing the Lost City, so that'll be cool. Um, I want to thank everyone on YouTube who's been following and watching this uh, Let's Play. A lot of you guys have said a lot of really nice things in the comments, and I appreciate it greatly. Thank you for the host drop down and Zulaf. Um, yeah, I appreciate the support so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the Let's Play. Um, I was kind of right in saying that the Let's Play hasn't gained as much traction as some of the Final Fantasy VII Let's Play and Challenge stuff, but I'm really glad that we took a break from Final Fantasy VII and we decided to do this because a lot of new people have been showing their faces and, and supporting the, the Let's Play. A lot of people grew up with this game and, and just like uh, seeing it played again, so I'm really glad that we did it. Um, just to clear up any uh, questions, think of the whole school fix. Um, just to clear up any questions you might have, we're doing the Let's Play of Legend of Dragoon as normal uh, every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the episodes will come out at 5.30 p.m. every day, Eastern, and then we stream it Friday at the same time, um, 8.30 to 12.30. Uh, the Tales of Savonia Let's Play will be from like 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock, so uh, right after Legend of Dragoon Let's Play on Fridays. And then the episodes, I'm going to upload them, if I can, at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So if you're watching the Legend of Dragoon Let's Play, as soon as the episode's done, uh, you know, actually about halfway through the episode, the Tales of Symphonia episode will be up. So if you want to watch it back to back, you could. Um, so that's my plan. If I fall behind because it's a lot of stuff that my computer has to render, then it might be later. But my plan is to have the Legend of Dragoon episodes be at 5.30 and then the Tales of Symphony episodes be at 6 o'clock uh, every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then, of course, streaming them right after Legend of Dragoon. So that is the plan. Um, once Legend of Dragoon is done, I'm not going to move the Tales of Symphonia up. I'm going to leave the Tales of Symphonia where it is, and we're going to do another Final Fantasy VII something, either challenge or mod or something that we'll vote on. So uh, there'll still be two Let's Plays once Legend of Dragoon is done. We'll do the Final Fantasy VII one in place of Legend of Dragoon, and Tales of Symphonia will keep going until it's done. So uh, that is how it will go. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the Tales of Symphonia Let's Play, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the Legend of Dragoon Let's Play, and then the following Final Fantasy Let's Play. We'll probably do, we'll do a vote. It'll probably be right at the end of Legend of Dragoon. So if you want to vote on what we do next in Final Fantasy VII, be sure to be here on that day. I'll give you more info once we get closer to the end of Drag uh, Dragoon. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the support. Thank you guys on Twitch for being here for the Let's Play. And uh, until next time, I love you. Peace out. <laughs>